back to Heavy Rain. We're gonna play us another dude now. This fat dude. Fat old dude. With big green eyes. It's Tuesday. It's middle of night. And it was a bunch of inches. I bet I think that's the rain. So in the end, it's gonna be like so much. Oh, wait. Oh, go to get out of my car. Get out of my car. And I'm a big dude. Big old dude. Man, nice tie though. But it's rainy. Why don't you go inside, you dumb idiot? Oh, no, I'm, I'm gonna stay outside. Well, should I go inside? Maybe not. Well, let's go inside. <laughs> it's so stupid, really. Okay, where I was about to go. Hello? Lauren Winter. Ring any bells. No! Nope. Nope. Can't say it does. Really? What about this? Oh, that Lauren Winter. Third floor, last door on the left at the end of the corridor. Alright. <sighs> Been looking for weeks. Hope I hit pay dirt this time. Pay dirt? What else pay dirt? What else is that? Let's go to black fur. Why painted black is this cutscene? Okay, what's in the cutscene? What did he say? I don't remember. Was this door? Probably. Hello. Lauren Winter. Sorry, I only declined by appointment. No. Wait. Oh. It's fifty bucks. I don't kiss and I don't do any weird shit. Oh. Fine by me. Uh, you're just gonna go here for my daily prostitute. Oh, yeah. But it's not a prostitute by the street. It's a prostitute in her own Put apartment. Put your money on the table. You got exactly 10 minutes when the alarm rings. It's over, okay? What is wrong with her? Why are you talking like this? I'll put the money on the table. Mm, there you go. Now, let's have sex. Oh! <laughs> You should take your clothes off. We ain't got all day. All right. Actually, I'm not a customer. Why? I paid. <sighs> Shit, a cop. I should have known. What do you want? A freebie? Is that it? My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private Scott detective. Scott Shelby. The families of the victims of the origami killer asked me to investigate the murders. I came here just to ask you some questions about Johnny. I already She's told not going to be happy. I have nothing to add. Leave me alone. Told. Told you. Um. Compassionate. I understand, Lauren. I know what you're going through. Oh, yeah? You know what it feels like to find your own son's body on a wasteland? Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't believe you have the slightest idea what I'm going through, Mr. Shelby. Where are you from? Uh, 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 uh convinced. The killer is walking around free as we speak. He'll kill again if he's not arrested. I thought he's dead, so what difference does it make? Well, you could help people by trick. If we don't find the killer, there'll be other mothers who find their son's body on a deserted wasteland. But, but, but you're right. Why should you care? It's not your problem anymore, right? Feel some freaking compassion in, in it. Yeah. What do you want to know? Exactly. I want to know everything. Um, his parents. How did your son disappear? He used to go play with the neighborhood kids after school. Oh, shit. It was pouring down something awful that day. I'll never forget it. All his friends came home around five. And he'd never... All except him. Yeah. Man, that's freaking sad. Uh, you know, Did home. Johnny live with you? Yes. Of course, I made sure he never met any of my clients. Oh, yeah, you know. I wanted to stop, you know. But we needed the money. Everybody needs money. trying to earn enough to get us out of here. That's sad. Uh, no. Oh, smokes. Okay. Want one? No thanks, I quit. That's brave. 
Yeah, I'm brave. Don't smoke. It kills. It kills you. Now you want to bang or okay? Is it done? No. Uh, leads. Do you know if they found anything on the wasteland? Any leads or witnesses? No. He said he must have run away and he'd probably end up coming back. His body was found five days later with a origami figure in his hand and an orchid on his chest. Really? It's like a signature. Signature. Uh, Johnny. Tell me about Johnny. What kind of kid was he? Johnny was really a good boy. A good boy? Sometimes he fought with other kids who called me a, you know. A whore? In his own way, I think he understood what was going on. What's going on? <laughs> Must be horrible to lose it like a child. Especially in that way, like get, uh, getting murdered, you know. Uh, is this it? Um, you know. Uh, you want to talk some more, or should I leave? I gotta get out of here. Really? She just lost her kid. I can understand how she's feeling. Wait, can I, can I, can I confront her? Oh, I'll be. Don't touch me! Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I am so my sorry. The most precious thing I had. The only good thing in my whole fucking life. He was taken away from me for no reason. Go away. Get out of here. All right. As you say, I won't be a, uh, you know, disturbance anymore. Thank you for your time and goodbye. Yep, card. I'll leave my card on the kitchen table. You never know. Yeah, you know. Leave it. Well, if you remember anything, the smallest detail, give me a call. And, uh... No point in pushing her. She's not going to tell me anymore. Yeah. I should have eased up on her. Looks like she's still in shock. Well, bye. Yeah, right. Uh, tact is not my strong suit. <laughs> Oh, that scared the shit out of me. <coughs> You're gonna die? What's wrong with you? Uh. What? Ah, oh, it's like, uh. An in inhaler. What's, called? What's the guy there? Is that the guy from Hitman? Lauren. You have asthma? Lauren, open up, baby. One of her customers, probably. Sorry, Dal. Right. But I really wanted to see ya. Gotta go. Oh shit! Something's happening to her. No, I said leave. What? No, I didn't mean to. Oh shit! What else? This douche. Man, I didn't mean to leave. Man, I'm such an idiot. Fum, fuck me. I just, I wanted to stay, but I just, bah. it's eight in the morning. In a car, or somebody else this time. Oh, a lot of police officers. Ooh, nice car. I can't even see it though, but I think it's a nice car. Yeah, I was right. What the hell? Why is the controller vibrating? What the? Is that the... the antidote! Is that drugs? Let's get out of the car. Ooh, I'm a new guy. I don't know who I am. Maybe I'm another father who lost their child. Who knows? Doesn't look very happy though. Uh, keep control. God, my hands are trembling. I gotta keep my act together. At least for now. Okay. Reporters. Already. Huh. You seem well informed. What? Noted that name somewhere. What was it? Blake. Lieutenant Carter Blake. Yeah, that's it. 
Who's Blake? Goddamn rain. Hasn't stopped pouring since I arrived. Goddamn rain. <laughs> Zone is sectioned off, sir. Please step back. Agent uh, Jaden, FBI. Oh, yeah, I'm Not FBI? That's cool. Yeah. Norman Jaden. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I have some ID. FBI. Check. You can pass. Cool. Thanks, bro. Blake? I'm looking for Lieutenant Blake. Is he around? No. I saw him arrive earlier. He's here somewhere. Thanks. This guy's also... This guy... All, uh, <laughs> Man, freaking... I can't speak. This guy also sounds like he's a foreigner. But uh, I think it's... Um, this game was developed in like somewhere else. I can't remember. But uh, that's why some of the actors doesn't sound American at all. What the hell is this? Video memo Unless recording. Agent 47023, Norman Jaden. Tuesday. Norman Jaden. 2011. Time is... 2011? Is this the year where uh, it got released? Man, I'm, uh, I'm old. I remember playing this when it was new. It's recording. Big. Ooh. What's this? Is that clues? Oh, what is this? Some DNA? Is that a bottle? Oscar? That's my name, but I thought it was a K. Okay, no criminal record. You should, like, remove that then. I get mine. Blake? I'm looking for Lieutenant Carter Blake. What? Okay, over there. Thanks. He didn't even say anything. He's like, uh, over there, you know, bitch. More DNA? Is this related yeah, or unrelated? Sample of no interest. Comes from one of the policemen present on the way. What? Freaking one of the police officers? Freaking shine? Where am I supposed to go? Blake's like over here. I got my steps is some doo doo. Hello, Lieutenant Blake. I'm Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI. Norman Jaden. Oh, office this morning. They told me to be here. Now, if you're looking for rain, dead bodies, and highways, you come to the right place. Yeah. Mike, will you tell that asshole with the bulldozer to stop for five minutes? I can't hear myself. Thank you. Right away, Lieutenant. I'm coming in my pants, facts. So, what happened? Some guy taking his dog for a piss found a body about six o'clock this morning. We don't right. know much more right now. Based on what we've seen, looks like the work of the origami killer. Oh no! Identity? Is the body being identified? No, not yet. We should know more later today. Any news on the coroner? He's on his way, Lieutenant. We've been waiting cool. for an hour for fuck's sake. Do we know the cause of death? There are no marks on the body. Chances are he was drowned. What? The others. Drowned? That's a horrible way to go. Any witnesses? None yet. Given the neighborhood, I'd be surprised if anybody saw anything. Right. Wait, hold well, on. Where am I going? I don't want to see a single shit stirring journalist within a mile of here. You got it? Yes, Lieutenant. Uh. There are a lot of people on the crime scene. Aren't you afraid your men might destroy some clues? You don't find proof sitting behind a desk. We're not in the habit Maybe. of things in this ground, even if we're not in the FBI. No, no, of course not. That's that's not what I meant. Listen, I, I'm a little busy here. Why don't we discuss all this a little later? Back at the office. Oh, no problem. I understand. Back at the Can office. Be my guest. Thanks, bro. Hey, Jaden, come and see me if you find anything, okay? Uh, no. Team now. Maybe. Dude, put on freaking super glasses again. This way we can freaking find clues. Found something here. What is this? Sample of no interest. It comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. God damn it. 
freaking police officers leaving, leaving, leaving freaking clues that aren't useful. What over here? Uh, coffee? Is that a coffee you're drinking there? There's some in the thermos behind you. Help yourself. Thanks. Weather. Lousy weather, huh? Does it always rain like this? It rains every fall. Doesn't it do that where you come from? Well, yeah. Yeah, of course. Where do you come from? Murder. Where do they find the body? Excuse me, but who are you exactly? Norman Jaden. Norman Jaden. Yeah. <laughs> you want to ask questions? You should speak to Lieutenant Blake, sir. All right, sorry. Pretty chilly, huh? All right, cool. Don't respond, you freaking assholes. Let's have some coffee. Bring coffee. Why are we from Boston? And get bring some coffee. Oh, I love some coffee. Don't you love coffee? Let's continue with the investigation. I don't even know what that is. Well, you know, let's find some clues. Uh. We find anything. Where's the body? Don't know. Oh, find something. Found something. Some orchid pollen. The concentration of pollen in the air is quickly decreasing because of the rain, but it gets higher in the direction of the body. Oh, it's like the leaves over there. Over here? Maybe this is the way. This, this is the way. This is the way I wanna live. Oh, is this where the body is? It's Harry, gonna be disgusting. Harry, the victim is lying on his back. Oh, man. No visible signs of violence. Man. Oh shit. We have to control with the stick. How about that? The blood a wound on the right thigh. Yeah. Blood analysis suggests it could be postmortem. Probably a scratch that occurred when the body was being moved. After the death. blood report indicates an advanced and long-lasting state of exhaustion. Latin. Dude, I've studied sometimes. <laughs> postmortem means after death. In Latin. An orchid was placed on the victim's chest. Wasn't that like his signature? Like the murder dust that would air victim? It was in his pocket. Or his hand in a small origami. origami figure in the right hand. What kind of figure is it? A dog? Fingers were probably closed after the time of death. What a freaking freak. Uh that thing. The is it a dog? Declared missing five days ago. See reference file. Jeremy Bowles. What's this? His face is covered with mud, like the other victims. Why? Freaking killer, you're disgusting. I hate you! What do you kill at poor kids? I mean, it's one thing killing like ad adults, you know, like grown ups, because they're like had a life, but the kids, they haven't even lived, maybe, if they're like 10 years old. Uh, yeah, man. Of no Is that another freaking police know. officer? Get off this place! I want to find some clothes! Assholes. Something over here. Get out of my way, you fat fuck. Okay, I mean, who's in my way? Something here. Oh. Cool camera angle. I'm Norman Yaiden. Looking for some clues. Cause the red dub gonna give it to you. Cause the red dub off Tom Funk's gonna give it to you. Oh, he's on the train tracks. Oh, he didn't want to go there. Can you go over the train tracks? What if a train came over there and killed him? Oh, something on the train tracks. What's that? A dead cat. A dead cat? The FBI doesn't keep files on dead cats. Oh. Not yet. Not yet. It'll be in the next update. Hey Norman, I don't have to find out some of the dead cats found this morning. 
don't know how he died. Probably got hit by a train. This was this time. Oh. Pollen particles disappear in the tall grass. What's this? It's uh, probably uh, the end of the trail. R1. Well, hey, there's something in What's that? Blood? Harry Common. Traces uh -oh. of blood on the railroad track. Analysis confirms it comes from the victim. From the victim. Oh, let's follow the trail. We're gonna find the murderer by following this trail. Isn't that right? Footprints continue just after the pollen trail. There's a good chance that they're the killers. It's not good playing a freaking... It's not a horror game, but it's like a murderer thingy. It's not good playing this game no, while being home alone. I'm gonna be like, fall asleep and be like, it's gonna be a murderer when I open my eyes. The killer came this way with Hopefully the body not. and probably grazed it on his way through the fence. Uh, sorry for that. Are we gonna have to climb this? Go up. Go up the mountain. Just walk. It's simple. Whoa! Maybe not it's slippery. It got all dirty now. Don't worry, you can do this. Hold circle and triangle. Oh, that's gonna be hard. Uh, but I don't have to hold that anymore. Up. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Uh, X. This. Oh, no shit. I left go of X. I'm so stupid. But then again, I'm quite tipsy at the moment. It's gonna be hard. Fuck me. <laughs> Triangle, that's hard. Can let that go. Let that go. I'm smart. That go. That go. That go. There we go. We did it. Did we? Oh no, it's more climbing, obviously. Dead. Ball, can we let those go? That, that. Up, circle, triangle. They're both done. Are we up? Thank God. Oh, we're not done. Scheiße. No. R2. D2. Up. L2. R1. Up. Bell 1. It's so hard trying to focus while you're. Well, a bit drunk, but I'm uh, I'm getting there. I'm probably gonna end up like killing everybody in the game. But then again, it's really for people. Probably gonna fuck up every single little thing. Like, oh, there's a good chance that they ever kill us. Now, there's a good chance, but we have to go for Um, more clues. More clues. What's this? Tire tracks. Tire tracks on the side of the road behind the railroad line. It may be the killer's car. Probably. Seen all there is to see. Really? This is it. Then let's go home. Uh, repression. I think I see enough. Better get back to the station before I catch pneumonia. What's for me? There's a railroad track near where the body was left. Same as all the other victims. Really? Way too many people here. They're trampling all over the crime scene. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Don't fall down. <laughs> hey, don't, don't go up again. Go down. You got it. No problem. No one died. Oh, I fucked that up. It was too complicated. It was like L1 and R2. I mean, usually it was just. L1 and RT. RT? What the hell am I talking about? I don't even know. Any more clues? I'm just gonna go home. How do I turn off the. glasses? Man, I'm dirty. I go home and have a shower. I'm a fucking dirty little baby! What am I thinking about? I can't think about anything. I don't have a mind at all! Bye. I'm gonna go home. <laughs> Freaking yawn mid sentence, like I'm gonna go home. Bye. Have fun with the investigation.
although I did most of the works myself. Bye. I got it. No worries. Yeah. Not getting wet anymore. Turn on the car. Don't leave. Up. Oh shit. Fuck you, cider. It came all over myself. No, just kidding. Because the uptown fun, can I give it to you? Because the uptown fun, can I give it to you? <laughs> that song is just weird. But I'm weird. You have like a new bonus. Is that. Oh, FB in FBI investigators. Whoa. Tuesday, 1 p.m. is an evening. I mean, uh, it's not even evening. It's in the afternoon. Bat, insect, butterfly. Don't think, Ethan. Give what? me the first idea that pops into your head. Oh, that's a like a bat. Yeah, bat. A bat. That's a yeah, a wolf. A wolf's head. Now, oh. faces. That's a crab. I don't know. Crab. Wow. Yeah, death, yeah. probably. The yeah. hell are these images? Is that it? I'm going crazy, Doc. I have oh. the results of your MRI scans. No go sleep. Everything seems to be normal. There is really? no physical damage from the accident. No. However, I am worried about your psychological condition. Uh, I know it's not easy, but you've got to start. Uh, you are yeah. not responsible for what happened. It's my fault Jason is dead. He'd still be alive if I'd been looking out for him. Maybe. It was an accident. Accidents happen every day. Trying to get out. You can't blame yourself forever. Oh, I can't. How is Sean? Oh, you know. He is, uh, freaking, uh, he wasn't unhappy. I know he's disappointed in me. I'm not the father I used to be. He's a great kid, you know. He deserves better. Oh? So what about you, Ethan? What do you feel? What do I feel? I can't ask you for him. I'm freaking depressed. Dead. I no longer want to live. Whoa! Don't I say that. To continue. You have Sean. Not even for your son, Sean. Yeah, why did he say that? I didn't mean that. Sean doesn't need a father like me. Don't be that sad, please. Is there something else you wanted to tell me, Ethan? Oh. Uh, blackouts. I sometimes have these blackouts. Times when I don't know what I'm doing. I recover consciousness sometime later. But I'm someplace else. And I have no idea how I got there. Man, that's creepy. Do you think this could be related to the accident? You suffered a massive concussion and were in a coma for six months. Oh, really? You really don't know what effect a shock like that can have on the brain. That's the end of this session. Uh, we'll really? continue this conversation next week. Shut up. Ethan. It's very rare to survive such a traumatic accident. I don't exactly feel lucky, Doctor. I don't know. I bet he would, would have wanted to die instead of his son dying, you know. But it, it looked like he freaking saved him, but maybe not. <laughs>